Well, happy Friday night. We got some hockey, we got some football, and it's week seven of the high school football schedule. The final stretch for teams looking to make a run deep into November. One of those contenders, the Piers Pioneers, 6-0 on the season and ranked number two in Class 3A. Big test tonight, though, at home. Opposing sidelines stands number eight in 2A, Painesville. And Piers doing what they do best early, run the ball. Reese Kastner takes it to the end zone from 16 yards out. Pioneers up 7-0 in second quarter. This drive is short one. Casper again takes it 75 yards of the house for the score. His second of the game, the only play of the drive, puts the Pioneers up 21-0 early in the second. They just look like a well-oiled machine tonight. Just kept pumping out touchdown after touchdown. This one from Carson Holes from two yards out. All Piers in this one, a dominating win, 42-6. Your final, Bemidji looking to end their three-game skid, hosting Sartell St. Stephen. Opening drive for the visitors. Jack's defense makes a play in the backfield, a little gang tackle there. That'll end up in a big loss. And later in the drive, they come up huge. Ball is loose. Bemidji jumps on it to take over possession. And then later in the corner, they punch it in. Who's shooting this? Yep, there's the ball. Kelvin Foss on the reverse. Makes a few guys miss, and he's gone to the house for six. Jacks get the offense going and pick up their third win of the year, 34-14. Big opportunity for Brainerd on the road tonight at fourth-ranked Moorhead. And the visiting Warriors came out ready to play. Charlie Garretts tumbles in from a few yards out to get them on the board. Then later, go to Garretts again. Squirts through the hole, and he'll find Pater. Brainerd with the lead and to pull off an upset. You need a big defensive play, and Tristan Richard gives it to him. The big pass breakup. And how about those Warriors? The upset on the road, 35-28 the final. Crosby Ironton looking for win number three in Esco, second quarter. Eskimo is already up a score. Brendan Duran finds Brandon Mateen. He fights his way in for the score, 14-0 the home team. Then opening play, second half. Mateen gets the reverse and takes the kickoff all the way to the house for six. All Esco in this one, 33-0 the final. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.